welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie Victoria Helen. Welcome if you're new and welcome back. Thank you for being here today. So a few weeks ago I said I've ordered a massive Shein order <laughs> um, online, which is um, an online shop, a bit like ASOS, but um, it's from China. Um, it took I think seven days to arrive, which wasn't too bad. It said between seven and ten days for free shipping because I spent, I think it was over a hundred pounds, which was so easy to do, even though everything was so cheap. Because everything was so cheap, you're just putting more and more and more into your trolley or your basket or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, just be weary of that, but just know that you can send things back. Their returns policy is quite good as well. I think it's five pound or eight pound postage back to do return so either way it's not too bad but I have had some lovely things in there which I love one of which I'm wearing now which is this little jumper well it's like a top jumper but yeah I love it and I think I probably worn it three out of the four days I've had it <laughs> so yeah so I've had some lovely bits I'm going to show you them all um some bits I've got ready to go back and some bits I'll show you which I'm going to keep which I'm sure that Reese my partner is happy about that I'm going to send probably nearly over half of it back but there's a few bits that I just had to keep so I think all in all everything on their website looked pretty much how it did on the website some things when they arrived were a little bit cheap looking and I just thought I know I've had things like this in the past and I know that after a few three or four washes they're gonna look a bit rubbish and a bit unwearable so I just knew from having experienced that in the past that I should send them back whereas normally I'd be like oh it's fine we'll just you know trim a bit off here trim a bit off there but I'm glad that I've got the knowledge now to know better and if things don't fit quite right then send them back and try and find something that fits me perfectly and suits me and I'm 100% happy with because I'm terrible for shopping when especially when things are like just cheap I'm like oh I'll just have it anyways you know it's only two pound no like if it's just gonna sit in your wardrobe upstairs you may as well not have spent that two pound so honestly there's some amazing bits go on there you'll be on there for absolutely hours I mean the website has just got so 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 much on um, but yeah I'm pretty overall I give it like a 9 out of 10 um, like I didn't really have high expectations because I just thought I mean they're so cheap if they come and they're amazing I'm gonna be chuffed but I didn't want to get my hopes up in case they win so Anyway, I hope you like this video, and if you do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and like. Thank you. Let's get started. When I was doing my order, I was feeling a little bit festive, and I didn't find anything on there that I wanted to get, like Christmas jumpers or anything like that. But I did find this really cute pair of snowflake earrings, which I was just like, I can't put that on there. And they were only £3. So, it's always nice to have like a bit of Christmas and a bit of sparkle on. So I bought these, can you see how cute they are? Little silver Christmas snowflakes. They're gorgeous. So yes, very happy with those. Just to let you know, on Shein as well, there is customer reviews which are very honest and um, they even upload pictures as well, which is so helpful when you come to order. They also have the sizes and the exact measurements on their website of every item that you can order which was so helpful because it meant that everything I ordered fit me, which is a miracle because I'm not the easiest body type to fit or dress. <laughs> and normally ordering sizes where it's like medium, large, small, I don't know what I am. I mean, it depends on where I shop all the time, which I'm sure you find the same. So I just wanted to let you know that, that all, like every single item, so it's not like, medium is the same for everything every single item has the specific measurements on and its own customer reviews which are very honest and show you pictures of of the actual item as well like on the customers which i just thought was such a great idea because you want someone who's tried it on before to let you know how it fit and i think it's amazing so yeah i love the website anyway and i think it's great and definitely go and get carried away on there do your christmas shopping <laughs> So the first item I have to show you today is the top I'm wearing right now. So it was called a lettuce ridge top and it was £11.56. Um, the reason for the odd numbering is because the website is um, in dollars, so it's $15 but £11.56. 
in Great British Pounds. So I'm just going to show you a picture of it here. And this top I was expecting to be longer than it is. So as you can see, it's got lovely little frill um, edges here and here. And it's actually more cropped, so I've got a high waisted skirt on right now. And it's got the lovely little um, edge frill at the top as well. And I also bought this in white. Um, the detail as well. This top is also ribbed all the way, which is just a nice little bit of extra detail just added to it. And I love it. I just, I mean, I can't fault it. I was surprised it was a crop, but it just, it kind of works. Like, I, I'm not really someone who wears crops because I'm, you know, what woman isn't conscious of this area. But yes i love it the next item i have to show you is a suede pink slash blush skirt um it's called the box pleat suede skirt and again was 11 pound 56 which i mean i can't even find skirts for 11 pound i don't know even on asos or in anywhere like pre-mark is even probably 12 pound <laughs> which okay you know there's not much difference but still it's lovely and soft and I shall show you a picture of it right here. Yes. And I just generally think it fits lovely. Like, it's really soft, it's lovely material. It's got, um, it's got like a, like a knicker line in it, if that makes sense. Like it's got, I don't know what the right word is for it. Face has got knickers in the skirt, but then you don't have to. They're not like granny knickers. They're like a. I'll just take them off afterwards and show you. <laughs> Anywho, so clearly this is it in white. <laughs> this is the um, lettuce edge frill top um, in white, which is eleven pounds fifty six. And again, it's got the ribbed um, ribbed all over, which is nice. The extra detail. It's cropped again. And I really like this one, but I would, like I always say, when ordering white, just go up a size because there's nothing worse than ordering something that's white and it's a little bit see-through because that does happen a lot. White is one of my favourite colours to wear and it always is a teeny bit see-through. You always, my tip as well is to wear a nude bra. Don't wear a white bra, wear nude because you can't see it through. If you, if you have white underneath, it shows through. I haven't got the best bra on now, I've got a light pink one. <laughs> but, ideally a nude. So this, again, like I said, it's lovely. I've got quite long arms, as <laughs> as you can see, I'm doing a dance with them. And it is a little bit short on the arms, but it kind of looks like it's meant to be like that, and I kind of like it. I wish I had ordered this in a size up. I ordered medium, I'm normally a size 10 on top. So, I, I mean, I thought large would be a little bit big, but because of the, um, way the top is made and it's quite um, stretch fit so it actually clings to you regardless which I didn't know obviously before I was ordering it um, I would say go up a size just because it's very s tight and clingy and white and tight and clingy isn't always the best look don't ever wear a black bra under a white top and if you do we can't be friends <laughs> I'm not joking, it's probably my pet hate. Like one of my biggest pet hates because everyone owns a white bra or a nude bra, come on. Like, I know they're not the best looking bras, they don't look great, but if you're gonna wear a white top, have the decency to buy a white bra. You can get them in Primark for two pounds. Like there's t-shirt bras, two pounds, Primark. And just go and buy a nude one because white, again, even though it sounds like the ideal it's not. Okay, <laughs> on to the, on, 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 on to our next item. So I just wanted to show you as well quickly, this is what it looked like on the website. It also comes in, I think, five colours, which is amazing. So there's two sort of tanned colours. Oh, actually I've got one of those. I did buy a tanned one. It's one I'm not keeping because I have enough tan clothes. Um, um, so two, two like different shades of tan, um, the white, the black and the grey. So, something for everyone. Okay, so this is our next item. And as you can see, it's the same top again, but in more of like a mocha color. 
and the reason I'm not keeping this one is because I do have a few tops in similar like neutrally shades but I also think this one just doesn't do anything for my skin complexion I don't think it suits um, me I think it would look lovely on someone who had more of an olive skin tone um, and I'm quite So yeah, I think it's a lovely cute top, but just not for me. So this is the next item I have to show you, and it's called the Pearl Beading Twist Infinity Sweater. I was going to say jumper then, but sweater. And this one was £12 and 10p. Still such a bargain for my jumper. Everyone's probably seen this all over Instagram, and um, I've seen it a lot on Pinterest as well. And I've seen people wear it this way and this way. So, on the website, there's no picture of anyone wearing it uh, on their actual official site. There's no picture of anyone wearing it the right or wrong way. Um, <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing for a start. Um, it also, as you can see, it just kind of really like gives you the weirdest shape, like just does nothing. Maybe if I had some big fake boobies, I really don't know like what, what this is meant to look like. Like I just, I also look, it's so cropped. So like, just someone tell me how you're meant to wear this because I just don't feel like this is quite right. So unfortunately, as pretty as the color is, and as pretty as the little detail is on the pearls, it just, the fit, I mean, isn't great it doesn't look great and what do you wear it with maybe some high-waisted white jeans but personally I'm not going to get my belly out so this isn't for me so if I was going to wear the jumper the other way around this is what it looks like and it's so it's not all bad like it doesn't look really bad this way but when you then see the back of it then look it's just it's sitting too high just doesn't look doesn't look great so this one it's going back so this is our next item it's a little cute jumper it's called the pearl beaded sleeve ribbed jumper if that's not a nice one I don't know what it is and I'm really really a bit sad about this one because I love love loved the picture let me put it here <laughs> And I just love, look at the pale detail on the sleeves. <gasps> I can't see it closely. Oh, just knocking ball balls off the tree. <laughs> no, but seriously, look at that cute little pale detail. And it's kind of got like these little, oh my God, here we go again. <laughs> Why do my arms look so weird? <laughs> okay, let's just uh, rewind. Yes. So, as you can see, it's got these lovely, lovely pale details on the arms, and I love it. But, the only thing is, my long arm issue doesn't look, doesn't look quite right, because my wrists are out, and quite a bit of my arm really, and as you can see, it's, it's kind of just not fitting me right. Um, also, I, went, I was going to keep this one originally, and I went to put it on yesterday to wear, um, I don't know if you can see how closely I need to come for you to see these little like dotty bits and they look like they look like little stains they're literally quite all over it but what they are is little pulls in the material and I'm quite disappointed because it is a really nice top and the color like it suits my skin tone more and I probably would have kept it and just tried to stretch the sleeves a bit but yeah all these little bobbly bits like you can't they're not visible but they're there and I just it's just a shame because it looks like I've got like splattered some like gravy all over my top not really the look I was going for <laughs> I don't know what this is either obviously I never intended this jumper to go with these shorts but as you both know I thought I'd put them on together and just show you why I'm sending these ones back um, I'm a bit disappointed in this jumper because the sleeves, I mean, I don't understand what's going on. I love a little, like, a little frilly winged sleeve, but why didn't they just put a stitch, like, if you can see, why, like, what, <laughs> what, 
I just don't understand why you wouldn't put like a little stitch there so just so it would just keep it together and look really pretty and chic but no um also I'm going to come close up now and just show you how awfully it fits like it's just just shit basically <laughs> the last thing with this top can you see the spit at the back so I'm going to pull it out of the high waisted shorts just to show you excuse my bra what is what that all about why oh why Dahila is there a big spit at the back of the top like I want to get a cold back for one I like being warm do they not know me <laughs> but also like I just don't understand the, the, the sense in that like even if I turned it round I'll turn it around and show you, but again, it's not a good look. These shorts remind me of boxing shorts, so they're absolutely hysterical. Um, they literally look like my boyfriend has a pair of, bo like, he, I don't know if he used to do boxing or something, but he has a pair of shorts upstairs that are from boxing that literally are this shape. And I will link them on the website over here right now, because they look so pretty on the website, so I was really disappointed in these. I didn't have high expectations, so I'm not devastated. But I mean, <laughs> I'm as this is my next item to show you. So this is the frill lace trim shoulder top. I mean, I don't know who names these things, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know if anyone has seen that sketch from Michael McIntyre, which absolutely makes me wee my pants where he says everything um, American, I reckon this website is American by the way, because everything American is so over over emphasised, like we have pavement and they have sidewalk because it's it's on the side and it's where you walk and they have, we have like a, no we have a bin and they have a waste paper basket, so like where they put their waste and it's a basket, but we just, we just call it a bin. So, I'll link the sketch below, it's hilarious, you have to go and watch it. But anyway, some of the items just remind me of, how, of him and how his sketches are. Anyway, back on topic. Um, so I've decided to send this one back because it's a little bit tight on the bust area. Um, although the detail is absolutely gorgeous, I'll show you it up close. It's a really, really pretty one, but personally, this for me is not a good look. Um, I think if I went up a size, we'd have a bit of an issue with this bit. Um, so unfortunately this one's going back but i mean look at the detail it is really really pretty and elegant um i think this would look great with um a high-waisted pair of black jeans so so you know what so i have noticed that shein has brought out my obsession with pearls clearly because i think this is the fourth item in a row that has pearls on but you can't help what you like eh so this skirt is black and it's got a ribbed checked sort of detail closer up. It's got gorgeous little pearls all the way over it and on the back it is just plain. But I kind of like that because I think it would be too much all the way around. I paired it today with a black high neck jumper just to keep it kind of like smart and sophisticated because I kind of think it's kind of like a fun playful skirt and I just think you could dress it up to on a night out or you could wear it like this to go shopping in the day. So for me this one's ideal. Like I can't even believe how much this was. Seven pounds and 56 pence. Like how do they ever make profit on that? Like the amount of pills that's on it probably costs more than that. Anywho, I love it. It fits great. Like absolutely fits so lovely. It's got a little bit of room here which is nice so when you sit down it's not too tight but also it's got a lovely bit of movement like it's got some stretch in it but not too much so that it's not cling to you but it just sits and fits perfect. I love this one. So this is a ding keeper. Also here is the picture that it has on the website because look at this top that it's paired with and I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So I need to find me one of these to pair it with, like I said, for maybe going out for drinks with the girls or date nights or just want to dress up for yourself even. So yeah, I love this, this option. So this is the next.
next item I have to show you today, it's this little tweed skirt, which I, you know I love a skirt, you know I love a skirt, and clearly I love a pearl too, <laughs> honestly, but anyway, it's got, and I love a frill, it's got a <laughs> frill detail down the front, which is just gorgeous, it's got six pearls on the front, and again, I kind of thought maybe where this one came, it was going to be like one of those ones that looked lovely on the website, but it looked really tacky, but it's not, I love it, like I literally love it, I wore it on the weekend with a black high neck um, jumper, and I just felt really like nice and chic, uh, so the bottom at the back as well, here, is free, so what I have noticed is it likes to start to unravel a little bit, and you just have to snip it off so it doesn't look like you've got a little tail, but other than that, <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely skirt. The material actually feels really good quality and it fits perfect. So this skirt was only £11.56, which I mean is such a bargain. Bargain? 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 Who knows? Anyway, I think it was really reasonable. We'll go with that. So these trousers are the last item I have to show you today from my Shein order haul. Now I was going to send these back but I've changed my mind because I think it is good to have a nice pair of trousers in your cupboard that's just something a little bit classy and for those days where you just don't feel like wearing a skirt which doesn't happen very often to me but I do think it's nice just to have something a little bit smarter maybe and you can dress these up or down um, with like a little blouse or a shirt and also like with a jumper like I've got on today so a bit more cash for like around the house and I think it's just great they're £18.90 so for Shein again not the cheapest but I mean for a pair of trousers to pay under £20 is a little bit crazy but also amazing like the quality feels really good they're quite comfy they've got decent like pockets in them and they've got this lovely little frill detail around the top and you know I love a frill and also my bow isn't quite as good as theirs which I shall add in here but I will practice my bow tying skills ready for Christmas don't you worry but yeah I love these these are a keeper and these were in a size large like I said I'm a size 12 on the bottom and 10 on the top so um, they fit me lovely I normally find it very hard to find trousers that fit me nicely like this is probably why I don't wear jeans because I could just never find a pair that look really good on me they either are so tight on my thighs that I get like these horrible lines in the back if I find them a size bigger then they like gaping around my waist so I just gave up to be honest Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed my Shein haul and liked my honest opinions on their items. I'm gonna put a link below to all the items I ordered and also to that Michael McIntyre reference that I gave, which my example did it no justice at all. So if you watch his sketch, it's much funnier than mine because I'm not a comedian. <laughs> So yeah, like you saw, I got some really nice bits um, for real bargain prices. So, I mean, just give it a go. If you're looking for some new clothes to update your wardrobe, then they've got some great bargains. And I hope to see you on my next video. I'm going to be uploading one video minimum a week, which is very exciting. Um, always going to be on a Monday, and any extra videos will be midweek, probably. Um, but if you subscribe, so hit the subscribe button down below or just here now um, then you will be able to be notified when I upload new videos just to keep you up to date also thank you so much for all the support that I've had so far I can't believe I've had like a thousand views on my channel and I only started it two weeks ago like that's so cool and I just want to thank everyone so much for clicking on my videos and watching and please leave some more comments below I've had a few comments which have been lovely and so supportive but I just want to also like some some feedback really from you guys so just send me a comment or um, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook if you join the group and just let me know your feedback and yeah have a great week thank you so much for watching again guys and 
was a new one. And I'll see you soon. I have also just launched my brand new website, which I will also link down below, which is katievictoriahulland.com. And basically it's a, I started blogging over two years ago now, and it's got lots of blogs on there. Yeah, just go have a look. Lots of exciting bits on there for you.